Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to our very first battle in the Pokemon Draft World Cup, hosted by the Raikwin. I felt like, as he emphasized the in my name all the time, you know what, he, he deserved a the himself. Anyway, as you can see, first opponent is the Monotui of the GBA, and of course, more importantly, the PPL. Um, but he is representing USA, obviously I'm representing England, the home, or sorry, my homeland. Um, you will have seen if you watched Raikwin's videos uh, of, of, well, explaining what the PDWC is basically, you would have seen my team in it. But as you can see, I have a Mew, a Tangrowth, a Mega Beedrill, Raikou, um, Vaporeon, Steelix, and my other Pokemon in the draft was Hitmonlee. Now, uh, as you can see, Mono's team is uh, rather spooky. He has got Mega Heracross, uh, Gengar, Clefable, Gliscor, uh, Seismitoad and normal Houndoom. I cannot remember what the other mom was. Uh, I think it was Cloyster. I want to say it was Cloyster uh, that he could have bought. But quick overview of my team. Uh, don't want to give you any spoilers about his because you know at this point I wouldn't have known anything myself. I've got a uh, well quick overview. Cassid Berry, uh, nasty plotting Mew. Um, so you know it could take a hit from the Gengar and pretty much destroy Mono's life. Otherwise, Psychic and Surf is all I need. Um, I've then got a uh, physically, full-on physically defensive uh, Tangrowth um, called Trump. So uh, quite a bad day to upload it on this day, but you, 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 never mind. Um, uh, that's Giga Drain, Aerial Ice, Leech Seed, Hidden Power Ice, Regenerator, Leftovers. Then I've got the Adamant uh, Natured Mega Beedrill, Toxic Spikes, Poison Jab, Knock Off U-Turn. No Protect Me, because I'm a man. Uh, I have got a Raikou, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Extra Chance 3, and Hidden Power Ice for Life Orb, Hidden Power Ice, of course, for the Gliscor. Um, Vaporeon, I've got Scald Wish, Roar, and Acidama. Acidama, you know, lets me hit the, or sorry, lift some hits from the Mega Heracross. And uh, I have a Steelix, because I need Stealth Rocks. And uh, Ice Fang and Heavy Slam is cool coverage for Mono's team. So, let's get straight into this, you know, some sun and moon music I thought, you know, be quite appropriate. Um, we're going to go for the turn 1 Mega with Beedrill, and we're going to click Toxic Spikes, because he has got no hazard removal on his team, other than his Gliscor, and if he has that, I think it means he can't be Poison Heal, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to U-turn out of there, I know he's got rocks up, but I wasn't too threatened by rocks. B is the only thing that's weak to rocks in my whole entire draft. Um, so, I wasn't too bothered by rocks, to be honest, I knew Toxic Spikes would be really useful. Because if he's unaware for Fable, it'll help weaken that thing, it'll help weaken the Seismitoad, it'll help weaken the Houndoom, it'll help weaken the Heracross, which is the main thing I'm worried about. So in comes the Cliff Fable. Uh, as you can see, I'm you know I'm just playing the store game at this point. I need to wish up and get my health back. And I click Acid Armor because with this thing sitting here, you know he's got a free switch into Mega Heracross, he can switch in and just click close combat close combat and probably just kill me. But I'm gonna roll Cliff Fable out because I don't want it doing any kinds of setup on me. Uh, but this Heracross is here now. Uh, it, it's poisoned, which is great, but he hasn't Mega Evolved yet. He decides he wants to switch back out into this Clefable. Um, not entirely sure why, but I have a free switch into my Steelix. And uh, if I want to, I can set up my own rocks now, but I can also threaten him out with a heavy slam. Uh, I think even if it's max defense, it'll still, still take something stupid like 70%. So Steelix was really useful against uh, Mono's team. Uh, now, he does go for the Earthquake. I I can't remember if I'm fully defensive or not, I want to believe I am, but I do have the Ice Fang. I was very tempted to bring Sheer Force in this thing over Sturdy, and I wish I had now, because I think that might have potentially helped me make it a bit more of an easier kill, um, but we'll see how it plays out later on. That was a that, that was a bigger roll than the first one, um, but that Ice Fang does a load of damage, and I don't think I can take another Earthquake, or if I can, obviously, I might not necessarily be able to bring it in again, you know, uh, on rocks or anything, so I'm going to bring in the uh, Tango, because it's a relatively safe switch unless he has acrobatics and sword stance, then that's that's sad times, but uh, I'm going to click Leech Seed, because obviously he hasn't got a grass type, if you wanted to switch out, I mean, to be honest, I was expecting him to switch out, because I don't, I mean, I would have found it quite obvious, I would have had Hidden Power Ice in this thing, um, but he clicks Taunt, it's a bit too late, because I have already clicked Leech Seed, and Leech Seed does nullify the Toxic Heal, uh, which is, or Poison Heal, sorry, which is, is quite nice uh, in this battle, because we hate Gliscor. I uh, predict the roost here, go for the Giga Drain, but, you know, it pretty much puts him back to where he was in the first place. So, um, we're going to lose this fight one-on-one, -on -one, mainly because we're top six. But if I switch out now, obviously I'll get my Regenerator. I uh, don't know what Mono was expecting, I don't know if he was expecting me to stay in, but obviously if I had gone for Giga Drain again, or Hidden Power Ice, then Heracross is a relatively free, free switch. But, you know, I make a play which makes me look really good, but was accidental. Um, here I, I knew the Houndy was going to come in, and I, I said, because I was in call, I think, at this point, with some other guys in the tournament, and I said, he's going to bring Houndy in, but I'm going to click Psychic, because I don't want Heracross, just, you know, sit there and do stuff. Um, and I was very confident this thing would have Sucker Punch. 
So, you know, rocks and poison are really going to help me take this thing on. So I'm just going to click Roost. Um, he does give the Dark Pulse, and I do live, because Mew is... Ew. And uh, here I make a misplay, really. Uh, I should have just kept clicking Roost. Uh, that That's what I should have done. I should have clicked Roost that turn, anyway. Um, because, well, he would have died to poison. That's all I all I needed to do, and I'd have had a Mew around. Um, which would have made my life a bit easier, but hey. Uh, in comes Mega B. He hasn't got anything to outspeed it, I do not think. Um, and he hasn't got a safe switch into U-turn. Just, he hasn't. Um, if he goes into Gliscor to take it, which will probably take it all right, you know, I just free switch into something else that can do damage to it. Um, so in comes Clef. Uh, we we are not a fan of Clef here at uh, Norris Ski. So we're going to Volt Switch out. And, um, well, we're going to go into Steelix, because, you know, it's our safer switch at this point. Obviously, this thing could have Fire Blast, Flamethrower, anything like that, but I'm taking that risk. Um, now, here is where a play, you know, turns the game. Obviously, the Heavy Slam is quite obvious. I'm going to click Ice Fang, because screw Gliscor, and Gliscor goes down. And now Gliscor's gone down, I see a total of zero switch-ins to Mega Beedrill for Mono, which, which is cool people. Um, so he does bring in the Heracross, he is going to actually click the Substitute. Um, I was only ever interested in sacking off Steelix at this point. Mainly because if I go into Beedrill now, he has to pretty much sack something off. So I'm going to stay in, uh, take the close combat like a man, and uh, I, I go down. Which is a shame, and he lives with 1 HP, which is perfect because, you know, it gives Mega Beedrill another kill. Uh, one of my sole objectives was just to use Mega Beedrill and have fun. Uh, in a in a team or in a, like a draft format with only seven Pokemon, when you have less switch ins to wall breakers like Beedrill, uh, it's a lot of fun. So I can definitely see why Mono wanted to bring Mega Heracross because what's a switch in? Uh, Raikou is my safest play here uh, because I would be able to obviously hit the Gengar, live any hit it takes. I do make a risky play here. I was, I was expecting him to obviously click the soft boil though. It was definitely his safest play. Um, and I believe, I, I don't know if I said it, I think I have Sludge Bomb on my Tangrove, so if Beedrill does go down, there is some way of hitting Clef. Um, but I go for the Poison Jab, you know, it does roughly about 35-40% to 40 to Gengar, which is cool. Um, and he does go for Sucker Punch, I did scout for that, I did hard switch on purpose, because I was very aware this thing does get Sucker Punch. Um, so I click School here, obviously any damage on this Gengar is, is beautiful. Um, but I don't want this thing setting up at this point, I don't think it actually has any setup. I can't remember if Mono sent me the team or not. Uh, but I'm going to keep clicking Raw because I want Gengar in because I want him to keep switching in and out. And I want that Gengar to take all that Stealth Rock damage. Uh, I will click Scored every time Gengar is in though because why not? Uh, free damage off on this Clefable. He does decide to eventually Toxic me this turn. Uh, but I do continue to click Raw. And uh, Gengar is now at a very, very low range. It's actually at the point now where Poison Jab from Mega B will kill. So he cannot switch it in uh, when Clef is in. Um, so that's very nice. Obviously, I know he has the Sucker Punch, um, but I, I can play around that. It's fine. As long as this Clefable goes down or Gengar goes down. Well, you know what? Whichever one dies first, I have ways of dealing with the other, so I'm quite happy uh, with where I am at this point. I'm just talking crap. I know here he goes to the Taunt. Um, it wasn't a prediction at all on my behalf. That was just me clicking scored at this point, thinking, right, he's just going to continue switching. But he doesn't. Uh, and in comes the Clef. Now, all I have to do is let something die. I'm just going to click scored on this thing. Uh, until Vaporeon dies to Toxic slash Moonblast. Because all I have to do at this point is bring in the Mega Beedrill. And I can click Poison Jab and take the win over USA in round one of my group. So uh, it was a really good game, Mono. Thanks for the good game. Uh, you know, revenge for all the PPL and stuff. Really enjoying Mega B. I want to say, I think Mega B gets five kills this game. Because of the Toxic Spikes killing the uh, Houndoom. It killed the... Seismitoad, it killed Clefable, it killed Mega Heracross, it didn't kill the game, I got 4 kills, 4 kills, not bad though, Mega B doing the work. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like, uh, subscribe to myself if you haven't, also check out Rykwin and of course Mono Tui, and all the other coaches stuff will be in the uh, description below, but otherwise guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow for week, or oh, sorry not week, but the second battle of the tournament, see you guys later.